Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Trey, and let's talk about Black uh, Adam. Yeah, <laughs> I call myself. I thought I was about to say Black Panther, but I was really about to say Black Adam. <laughs> but anyway, the reason why I want to talk about it is because early projections of the movie is stating that it might not do as well, and it might be the weakest DCEU opening. Um, which they only have it tracking between 5 million and 75 million for opening weekend for the movie. And right now what's happening is a lot of people aren't as confident in the movie as Warner Brothers um, Discovery would like people to be. But it's like, well, of course, people aren't going to be really all of that gung-ho about a character, an anti-hero. I mean, not anti-hero, a villain. You give a solo movie to, and then, you know, The Rock's Big Mouth done showed a lot of things that kind of woke a lot of fans up to, like, why the hell would we want to watch this damn movie? And the trailers really haven't been all that great. The CGI looks terrible. Um, a lot of the race swap characters are so noticeable. It's not even damn funny at this point. A lot of people are questioning why is it there's no connection to Shazam, aka Captain Marvel. You know, the reason why Black Adam even exists is because of the fact that he's supposed to be a negative version or a fallen version of Captain Marvel. So to sit up there and take that away from him, it doesn't help the character and The Rock's ego, honestly. I mean, he's still posting pictures of them still finalizing the, the shoot of the movie. Um, It's almost close to release date and y'all still um, doing reshoots for the movie? Eh. I mean, uh, I mean, of course, The Rock is co-financing it, so that's something, but still, like, what what is there there is nothing on you know there's nothing for black adam honestly at this point that we need to be worrying that people are excited for um things i'm hearing hearing is because his ego has gotten so out of control and he doesn't really know much about black adam because he's even talking about oh they want to do a black adam versus the justice league and suicide squad movie Hold on, first off, we got to see if it's even, if it's going to even be critically receptive by audience, you know, and how Black Adam is such a great character that he needs to, he needs to um, stand on, stand on his own and away from Shazam. No, motherfucker, your character is a damn villain. Your character is the arch nemesis of Captain Marvel. And honestly, if you were in fucking Shazam, you probably would have made the movie better. So then if you did get a solo movie, it would have made more sense why you got a solo movie because after your defeat uh, from Captain Marvel, it could have humbled you or made you question things. You know what I'm saying? But no, you didn't want to go that route because you thought Captain, um, you know, you thought Black Adam was so good that he had to be on his own. Except for you don't have a, you don't have an Egyptian dialect at all, which, yeah, yeah. Black Adam does have a have an Egyptian dialect. He does. You don't have pointy ears. There's no hair at all, which really shouldn't have been that damn hard to put a wig on your damn head. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't have a windows peak at all. Um, and then the suit that you got, no gold, no gold bands. I mean, no gold um, bands or no golden sash and golden boots how hard is that to do you, you know what i'm saying but then you base it off a of new 52 version of black adam you do realize most people do not like the new 52 version of the marvel family that's why the shazam stuff really hasn't really been hidden with people you know because if you ask me the shazam movie's flaw was trying to make it the new 52 where you had billy this runaway foster child that really didn't uh, want a foster family, but then all of a sudden, over time, uh, um, over time, he gets the powers, and then he says Shazam, and then later on in the movie, when he's facing against Dr. Savania, where you make him even younger, that's another problem, y'all do this whole ages thing, too, where y'all take characters who are supposed to be old, and then you make them young for whatever goddamn reason, 
But that's neither here nor there. Then all of a sudden, he was like, you're not going to get my power because I'm going to share with my family. The family that you really don't know anything about? Oh, okay. We really should have been Black Adam, which he was supposed to be in a damn movie until The Rock looked at the script and was like, no, I don't think Black Adam should be in there. I think um, in order to tell the story, we should do it separately. And like dummies out of hell, the Warner Brothers folks, before, you know, David Zaslav and them said, sure. No, you don't say sure. You say no, Rock, you shut the fuck up. And your ass, if you're going to be the villain, you need to understand that you're a villain. You're a side bitch. You're a side piece in a movie. Your ego has gotten out of control for this for the character of Black Adam. Now DC's trying to push the character over Captain Marvel. And a lot of, you know, comic book fans are like, what the hell is going on? Y'all do realize Black Adam is a damn villain. Yeah, he does some heroic moments every once in a while, but for the most part, he's still a, a heroic, I mean, an evil character. So let's not try to sit up here and try to change that again. It's the same route with the Harley Quinn shit. Y'all trying to take characters who are traditionally villain, villainous characters, and then you're trying to be like, oh, let's try to change things or make them the main character and then be confused when you don't get the money back or when you don't get the reception that you thought you was going to get because people don't really want to see solo villain movies especially if you're going to try to make it where they're the main character and they're taking on another villain and then you're not even going to have them fight the the their main their main adversary if you're going to do a black adam movie then guess what zachary levi should be in that damn movie you know what i'm saying when the jsa found out about black adam they was like well i heard this boy in the um in detroit or um yeah because i forgot they they moved him out of they moved him out of Fawcett city which that was another dumb shit that's another reason why the shazam stuff doesn't really work anyway neither but um what they could have did is they could have easily brought in Captain Marvel because Captain Marvel has been part of the JSA. So what you would have did is you would have easily, you would have had Dr. Fate and them talk about it and then um, it would have been a cool discussion and they would have got, um, they like they would have fought Black Adam at first and then, it, you know, the trailer would have hinted at the arrival of Billy Batson Captain Marvel you hear what I'm saying like you would have had to do something like that but you didn't you know what I mean so it's kind of weird that you didn't do that you kind of left it there and then again a lot of people are turned off by the race swap you know The Rock had a cool concept trailer that showed the characters correctly and then when casting start you said fuck that we're going to race swap the characters. And everybody was like, what the hell? Of course, there are going to be some people who are going to like it because they don't know. They don't know better. They honestly do not know better. They only know the surface levels of stuff to try to justify the character. Reincarnation doesn't work like that. Just because you were black in a, in a past life does not mean you're going to be black in another life. Ooh, that's not how that works at all. So for people to try to make excuses well hawkman was egyptian in the past so it makes sense that he's black in the present no it actually doesn't in order for that in order for him to unlock his memories that white man had to go over to egypt to study in it because he has a he has a degree and he's archaeologist in the 1940s went over to egypt touched um touched artifacts that made him remember his powers that it, that's the reason why you got Hawkman. Cyclone, she's a white girl. Maxine Frankel, she literally is a white a white girl with red hair and freckles and is the granddaughter of the original Red Tornado, a woman who wanted to fight in the war um, and fight for truth and justice. But at the time, women weren't allowed to fight. So she dressed up as a man to make everybody believe that she was a man so she could fight. Not no fucking transsexual or somebody who's dealing with their sexual identity. No. That's not the reason why Adam Smasher 
He's the godson of the um, of the original Golden Age Adam. You know what I'm saying? That he has the ability to grow massive, not shrink like his godfather, but to become enlarged. And he's a white man. So it's kind of weird that they, you know what I'm saying? You race swap characters that were, you know, that were white characters and don't tell me you couldn't because they're because you you put cyclone and atom smashers who are the are some young members in the jsa you get what i'm saying so it's not like you were going for the old generation of jsa you were going for younger you were going for a mixture of young and old and you put hawkman but hawkman is a black man which makes again makes no goddamn sense cyclone is some non-binary black woman, I mean, biracial black woman, that makes no sense because y'all hate redheads, but uh, y'all claim y'all don't. And Adam Smasher is a Latino man that he's six foot, but he ain't got he ain't got no arms, no biceps. Like, what the fuck? You should have got somebody like Alan, Alan Richardson. Al definitely could have played Adam Smasher. He has the arms, he has the physique, the biceps. You need somebody like that to play Adam Smasher. You need a freckled, red-headed face, I mean, a red-haired white girl to play Cyclone. These characters have distinct looks and feels. Hell, even Black Adam does. And y'all could have easily did, did prosthetics on The Rock, but you chose not to. And now they're worried about the projections. Talking about it's going to be the weakest box opening for a DCEU movie because most people do not trust it. And I don't blame people for not trusting, you know, the movie itself. It's not, you know, I'm trying to go faster. Yeah. Like, um,. It, I haven't really heard any good things. Every time The Rock opened his mouth about it, a lot of people are like, uh... And then he was booed at San Diego Comic-Con. So, I don't know. I just know that they think that it's going to be the weakest performance. And they said, um, with the data, they said Black Adam is supposed to make 55 million to 70 million range during the opening weekend, which isn't so bad. But it's only above Suicide Squad, Shazam, and Birds of Prey in Wonder Woman 1984. So, and the later two was affected by the pandemic, you know. So, again, if those, if it's not projecting that well, I don't know. In total, it says that um, Black Adam should be um, heading towards a domestic call of 135 million to 175 million even if it lands at the highest end of that one it'll fall way behind of justice league man of steel suicide squad batman vs superman donna justice aquaman wonder woman all who which hovered around um, at least 229 uh, million with gabado's first solo out outing leading with the pack at 412 million those also are, are the only tracking figure due to Johnson and Miss popularity in China where Marvel Studios can't get a good look in. So international audience could propel the Black Adam to hefty numbers, even if it's somewhat lacking in the United States. So that's something. But again, they're just tracking because they don't. I'm telling you, people don't really have faith in the movie like it is. And if you had listened to criticism... And if you made the changes that some people were suggesting, maybe. But again, nobody never liked to listen to real criticism. They only want to listen to the echo chamber. Like The Rock's talking about he previewed the movie for the fans and stuff like that. And he got good feedback. Yeah, you got good feedback because what are those people going to tell you? You didn't get real people who would have set you straight about the issues with the movie. Because even in the trailers, I can tell you. The fucking the fucking CGI is lacking at all. Otis Dodge looks awkward as hell as Hawkman, and his wings shouldn't be popping out of his back. It should be a wearable harness. 
the man is supposed to be white, which sticks out. You know audience hate race swaps, right? Cyclone, where is her witch outfit that she had in the comic books? And why is she not a, a white girl? Adam Smasher, where, where? why the guy don't have huge biceps? You get what I'm saying? He's supposed to have massive biceps. His biceps should be on the level of the rock. You know what I'm saying? But you didn't. You know what I mean? The black Black Adam look. What's going on? Why does he not have his iconic black um his his golden his golden colors? His pointy ears, his hair. Where is that? Nowhere to be found. I'm just being honest. And then the whole projection of the hierarchy of the DC universe is about to change. Like, no, we're, I don't need y'all trying to tell a redemption story for this character. No, he's an evil person. Keep him evil. He betrayed his nephew to get the power in the New 52. No, it's not his son and risk his life or whatever. I don't want to feel sorry for Black Adam. Black Adam did what he did because power corrupts absolutely. That is the whole thing. He is supposed to be someone who started off as good intention, but then the power corrupt him. Stop trying to get away with, away from that to try to tell some kind of morally gray story or whatever, or be like it's the other, it's the it's the world's fault is the reason why he was a villain. No, and and stop trying to have the JSA trying to convince him to be a hero, you know. Especially when you haven't set that, you haven't set that arc up with, you haven't set anything up with the Shazam world too. So trying to keep them separated too is also something that we, that that weakens the movie as well. But hey, it is what it is. Honestly, y'all do what y'all want to do. Um, I don't know. Like I said, the trailer, the trailers still haven't been great. The only good thing that I've seen is Doctor Fate. Other than that, all the other characters look terrible, including The Rock himself as Black Adam. So, I don't know what to tell you. Maybe if they had another character in there from the from DCEU. Like I said, if you put Captain Adam in, I mean, Captain uh, Marvel in there, that could have worked. You know what I'm saying? But you didn't. Or familiar names. Like, um, you should have put the... You should have put old Flash in there, um, Jay Garrett, and you should have put in Alan Scott, Green Lantern, but not the gay one. Um, the old classic one who has a wife at the house, Harley Quinn, and has the two has two children. Never been gay before in his life. That's you know, if you had put that in there, then you could have had the Trinity of the JSA, Hawkman, Green, Green Lantern, and the Flash that's how you do that but you know it is what it is tell me what you guys think in the comment section below and i'll catch you guys later peace out